What is going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we moved to a brand new base, as well as um, tamed a, a few more creatures. I believe we also tamed a Protoceratops. No, I didn't put it away. Oh, and somebody did comment that I should get a Fiomia because I got a Fiomia saddle. Already have one. Already have a Fiomia. Let me see where that Protoceratops is. While I look for the Protoceratops, in today's episode, I would like to do a couple of things. One, I would like to explore that cave that's there. And two, I would like to see if we can go ahead and uh, breed up our two Ichthyosaurs. Because we've got a 140 and a 150. The 140 was a female and the 150 was a male. So we got that, and uh, that's what we're going to do in today's video. I'm going to drop these berries. And then maybe next episode, once we breed up the Ichthyosaurs, I was thinking we could, you know, <clears throat> use the imprinted one to go after a Megalodon. Oh, there you are. There's the Protoceratops. You chilled over here. Alright. You can just chill over here for now. Alright. <clears throat> um, can I get off you? Thank you. I wanted to show you what I did off camera first, because I have done some stuff off camera. So if we go in here, this is the main quarters. We got the refining forge. We've got 34 metal in here, so we can put that in there. So yeah, this is the main quarters. We've got the dino ball storage box. We've got that. I also got some more dino balls. I used up some of the crystal we've gathered to get that. So this is our little balcony area with a beautiful view and as you can see over there we've got something over here I'm gonna show that to you right now so we got these stairs here we walk down these stairs and then we go in here nothing in here but if we go in here voila this is our aquatic docking area because this series is probably gonna be an aquatic based series. Yeah, we've got the seahorse here, and we've got the ichthyosaurs here. So if I remember correctly, we do have an ichthyosaurus saddle. I bet it's in the storage unit back there, so we'll go and get it. Put the saddle on top of you, so we have a saddle on you. There we go. So now we've got that Fiomia a saddle. And as for the ichthyosaur, <clears throat> let's breed them up first. And then I was thinking we could take one of the raptors over to the cave. I'm thinking we take this raptor. I have yet to get a saddle for the sea star, or the seahorse even. All right, so what we're going to do, behavior, enable mating. We're going to enable mating on these two ichthyosaurs. There we go. Oh, and we also got our little fish dude here. Who's cool looking. He was like, he's... Dropping fish scales, or, um, harvesting fish scales, or whatever, <clears throat> for whatever reason. Alright, we got that. Let's go ahead, open this. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get the gecko, because the gecko helps me breathe underwater. We're gonna take our main raptor, and we're gonna go on this cave adventure. But first, we're gonna breed up the ichthyosaurus, so we can get our imprinted guy. We have the male and female, high level, might as well do it. Yeah, and hopefully next episode we'll be able to tame our first Megalodon. Because we want to be able to swim the oceans with ease. Because this will probably mostly be an ocean-based series, I would imagine. Alright, I made it with five seconds to spare. Awesome. I'm gonna grab the baby as soon as it pops up. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, can I... There we go. So it came out at a 217. I'm just going to go ahead and put this... Alright, I have the resources needed for a ramp. We're going to make this a little more convenient by... We're not going to make it stairs, though. We're just going to... You know, a ramp would make more sense. Alright, we've got some stairs, so we should be all set to go with that. And, uh... Yeah. So, I'll let you guys know when the uh, baby grows up. Now, he will grow up in my inventory here because of the soul thing. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when this guy's fully imprinted. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. 
What's that rumbling noise? You know, I'm gonna pretend it's not there. All right, and with that, our ichthyosaur has been fully imprinted and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and give you your saddle. You've got 1,300 health to start with. You should be relatively fast. Yep, definitely. All right, I think you are getting a little hungry, so... Does anyone have any meat on them? You got some. Well, that's good anyway. That's better than nothing. Eat up. All right, now let's take this guy out on a little adventure. Well, the guy came out as a 237, by the way. We got our female Ichthyosaurus, so if we wanted to, we could breed up another one, try to get some mutations and whatever. I don't really care about stats. This guy is just here to get me around the water. Oh, hello. 140 Basilosaur. I'm gonna keep that in mind. That would be a really cool thing to tame. Oh, hello. There's a fact of this. We've got some mantas. I'm gonna leave that stuff alone. In the meantime, we're just gonna go out and, uh... Well, that's a beautiful Zephactinus, level 145. That's cool. You know, well, I might keep you alive, the 145. That 140 Basilosaur will really come in handy. Because of the jellyfish and the biotoxin. All right, I think we are heading towards the cave now, okay? Oh, Jesus! That scared me. All right, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Yeah, they're chasing me, all right? Just swim, swim, swim. There it is, I can see the cave. I can see the entrance to the cave. I just want to see what it's all about. I don't care about taming anything yet, so... Yeah, the, the insects and the bugs are continuing to drown themselves. We can use that to our advantage. All right, can we get on the... Get out of the water, please. Thank you. Right, let's just run away from here. Yeah, there's the Arthro. Don't get spat at. Don't get spat at. And of course, you're a 95. It's very framey here. And I fell back into water. Great. Not what I wanted. At all. All right. Let's get you up to 10k health and then put the rest into melee. <laughs> We're gonna need it, trust me. Alright, let me heal up a little bit, and then we'll, um, continue on our merry way. Alright, so we're now fully healed. So now we should be able to see what's in this drop real quick. Absolute garbage. Absolute garbage, that's what's in it. You know, I'd love to see those, those like, jumping spiders as well. The ones on the ceilings and whatever. I have that mod on there, I think it's made by... I forget, uh, Cyrus, Cyrus. It's one of Cyrus's mods. What's good up here? Anything? Oh, we got regular spiders. All right, let's look around. Yeah, usually the other spiders like to chill up in the ceiling for whatever reason. I think I see one right here. It's a 15. Now with these guys, the thorax spider, in order to tame them first, you have to tame a female. Otherwise, it won't work. I only have one stone arrow on me. Alright, there we go. I could just go ahead and kill you and get your kite. Oh, I got a... I got a pick? Yeah, we got 22 kite from... Great! You broke some of my armor. There's like an, an invisible arthro. Do I have any spare clothes on me? Stop moving. There we go, finally. Any spare clothes? What What broke? Alright, the boots, we can wear those for now. I'm gonna take the cosmetic off just so I can put those onto that. There we go. We didn't get any other piece of clothing, but whatever. That's the good thing, they drop clothes. Alright, any other spiders up here? Alright, this raptor's been proving really useful so far. Alright. Let's continue our journey. Let's see if we could find some more of those adorable spider things. There's another Megalania, level 85. We got some more of those other spiders. I think we got a Thorax spider just on the ground. Yeah, there is one on the ground. 
Yeah, because we need the chitin. What level are you? 25 on your attack. Thank you. And you are a, you are a male anyway, so I'll kill you for your chitin. There we go. So we got 45 chitin altogether. I I don't think this is an artifact cave. I just think it's just a regular cave. That was a max level spider. All right, there we go. Now we're fast. Any more of those thorax spider things? I only came across a 15 and a 25. Both of them are male. Get all the spiders. Get rid of them. Get as much XP as possible. All right, we've got about 45 of that special chitin that we use to make this shield. And it's supposed to look like the, um, basically the rear end of another spider. That's basically what it's supposed to be. You disguise yourself as another spider, so then you can basically... Ow. So you can basically trick it into thinking you're a spider, and then you tame it. I'm just keeping an eye on the ceilings for those thorax spider things. I think I see one. Is that it? Is that one right? No, that's just a, a stalactite or stalagmite. Whatever you call those cave th things hanging from the cave ceilings. Should we tame this dung beetle? That's a 145 dung beetle. No, screw it. We'll tame it. And there we have it. Dung beetle has been tamed. Let's take you away. And then we'll go ahead and continue on with this cave. I hear a megalosaur. I think I hear a megalosaur. I think I see it. There's a megalosaur there, an 85 megalosaur. Yeah, I think it's best if we just stay away from that. I remember back in the Evolve days, this area being crawling with megalosaurs. Now, I believe those spiders do also spawn in the redwoods, I believe. But I don't think we're ready for a redwoods adventure just yet. Ooh, a beaver. I'd like to tame a beaver. That one's nice looking. Level 95. Do any of you have a baby? One of them does. Level 95 does. Wherever that baby could be, I have no idea. There's a baby. You know what? Excuse me, sir. Alright, where's your baby? There it is. Alright, can I tame you, please? Thank you. We got a beaver. That'll be our, our wood gatherer. Alright. Now we're kind of lost in the jungle and we need to find our way back home. That's the way to our old base. This is the way to our new base. Ah, and there's base. We're so close. There's the Basilosaur, level 140. So yeah, we'll, we'll go after that, I think, next episode. It's good that a, a high-level Basilosaur is nearby. So the Basilo will definitely be a game-changer for the ocean. And we are back at base. Home sweet home. I'm just going to go ahead and take a screenshot of the thumbnail real quick. Alright, so we did manage to get a beaver. It's all, like, teal and blue. It's kind of nice looking, if you ask me. Oh, and we also got a dung beetle. Which is good. I'm going to keep you in here for the time being. Alright, and with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.